With an increase of globalization, ease of travel, and ease of, uh, of communications, what we're seeing are, are a flow of terrorists and increasingly individuals becoming radicalized in their home countries and then flowing into conflict zones. So you're seeing that with ISIL, you're seeing that in Syria and Iraq. It's an increasing trend and one that isn't really dependent on governments as much as it's on individuals. What we're trying to do here is really focus particularly on empowering women in their communities to be more engaged in countering violent extremism. Women often are not included in discussions about peace and security. And that's really a shame because when you leave women behind, you're leaving half of these societies behind. Women are actually quite powerful in their families, they're influential in their communities, and we have found in Afghanistan and Pakistan particularly that they can usually identify when people are becoming radicalized and actually counter violent extremism in their communities.